In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download Lightroom presets to your mobile phone without a desktop in three quick, easy steps right now. What's up, I'm John Mediana and thank you for tuning into my channel. If you're new here, I'm just building out my channel and it's all about the tips and tricks that I've learned over the 19 years of doing photography and film and storytelling. Thank you so much for stopping by and, and watching this video. If, if you're like me, you're always on the road or you're always out and about and you don't always have a camera with you. I, I always wish I had like a pro camera with me and a laptop so I could just edit photos on the go. Well, now you can without having to carry all this gear with you just use your mobile phone in this video i'm going to teach you how to download presets straight to your mobile phone without using a desktop and i want to give you guys a gift at the end of this video i'm giving you a free preset that you can download straight to your phone to test out so check out the description below click the link hope you guys enjoy it let's get straight into this tutorial before we go into that you got to download two quick apps go to your app store or your google play store or whatever one you have and you want to download the app called lightroom cc it's for mobile. If you have an Adobe account, you could download that straight to your phone and now you have Lightroom on your phone. And it is a subscription base. So if you don't have an account, go ahead and, and it's a monthly subscription. It's like nine bucks or something like that. The second app you wanna download is either Documents or iZip. And that's just so you could unzip these files onto your phone. So let's go ahead and start getting into this tutorial. The first step is to download your preset. You wanna to go to my website. The link is below in the description. Click on it, download the presets designed specifically for mobile so you could download it straight to your phone. The way to do that is select the preset that you wanna download, fill out the information, click submit. You'll get an email with the download link. So go ahead and click that, download your presets straight to your mobile. The second step is to unzip the downloaded file. So what you wanna do after you download the preset is unzip it. So click the more button and open it up in either documents or iZip, whichever one you downloaded, and it will unzip it. A folder will pop up with two different folders in it. One's a docs folder, which has all the documents you need. And the second folder is your presets folder. And that's the one that we're gonna focus on. The last step, number three, is installing your preset. After you unzip the file, you're gonna select on one of the presets. There's about six of them in the influencer package. When you pop up your folder, it's gonna say, it's gonna give you like six broken links here. It's gonna say image is broken. Don't worry about that. What you wanna do is tap on the top three dots and you're gonna go to share. And then you're gonna tell it to go to Lightroom CC. So you're gonna go ahead and copy that into Lightroom. After you pull it up in Lightroom, you're gonna tap the three top dots and you're gonna say create preset. What you wanna do is rename the preset, whatever name it came with. So this one's called cinematic. And you're gonna go name it and then go down to preset group and you're gonna create a new preset group and name that group influencer package or whatever you wanna name it. Then you're gonna hit the check mark button and that will create a preset on your Lightroom. So you wanna do this with every preset. So all six presets do that. And now after you've done all that, you can pull up any photo in your camera roll, toss it into Lightroom and hit your presets button. And now you're gonna see all those presets locked in your Lightroom mobile. What I tell everyone is presets isn't the end all. So once you get a preset, that's a great place to start, but you don't want to just toss in the preset and be like, oh, it doesn't look good. You want to really micro adjust and, and change it the way that you want it to look. It's a great start and it's going to give you a really good look. And then what you want to do is go in there and start micro adjusting all the stuff like exposure, highlights, because everyone's photo is different. And the way you take the photo from, from manual, if you have raw files, it works for both JPEG and raw and TIFF files. Um, I usually tell people to use raw files because it has more data, more information than JPEG files so that it can actually bring in more highlights. It could bring up the shadows without breaking your image and making it all pixelated. So what you wanna do after you install your presets, don't look at it and be like, oh, it doesn't look good. Every photo is different. So go in and micro adjust it. Go to your settings like light and color and just start messing with exposure, contrast, highlight. Start messing with those things to get your photo right. Yeah, so some people, they start freaking out when they're like, it doesn't look good, this, this preset's not that great. I beg to differ. 
every photo is going to be different you really want to play around with the way it looks so do that mess around with the program it's a powerful tool and that's how you download presets straight to your mobile phone without using a desktop hope you got a lot from this and let me know in the comments below what you guys think and, and how your presets are coming out if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button i'm really trying to develop this channel hang out with me i'm on instagram twitter most of the time and i'm always chilling in the comment section of of these videos so yeah hit me up yeah thanks so much for watching we'll talk soon